Right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video. Um, welcome to another video of Glenn's e-bike adventures. So, um, some of you may notice I'm riding a new bike, a big orange Cyrusher tracks. And uh, to celebrate that, I thought we'd come out, have a little bit of a ride on it, give my thoughts. And uh, as it's new bike day, I thought I'd bring out my cooker and uh, we'll set up by the canal. And uh, essentially, I brought myself a steak and some mushrooms. So uh, we're gonna cook that on our little uh, OEX solo camping stove that we used last week and uh, see if we can uh, have a nice afternoon out. Now I've just been having a few problems with my GoPro. I think I've recorded this clip now five times. So uh, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that this one's successful. I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. Uh, it was working fine last just last journey. Um, also, I brought myself a new camera, and uh, yeah, it's great. I can. Um, I've got myself an Insta 360 X21. Um, so uh, I've got a mount that's on the back that I'll, uh, I'll put my camera on in a bit as we go through here. And uh, I've got a mount to go on the front. The unfortunate thing is, the handlebars on the tracks don't really, and the Ranger um, from Cy Russia, none of them, neither of those two bikes, the way the handlebars are designed, I can't even, I, I can't fit anything on there, essentially, because everything's angled all the time. Um, the mount that I've got for the Insta360 goes exactly where my screen is as well. So um, now I've ordered some extra um, handlebar risers and uh, hoping they're gonna arrive in the next couple of days and then we can put them on and see if it makes any difference which I'm hoping it does right this is where it all starts to get a little bit muddy which was one thing I was kind of hoping to avoid on my brand spanking clean bike because it'll only mean one thing It'll mean it'll get filthy dirty and I'll have the job of cleaning it afterwards. Right, so um, first things first, um, we're gonna set up and um, I'm gonna set up the tarp behind me. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll set it up so that, um, you know, in the event if it rained, which I don't think it is gonna do today, um, how it would protect um, my e-bike essentially and, you know, the reason why I bought the tarp in the first place. Um, right, anyway, enough talking and gassing. 
let's get set up. Right, that's all done. Um, got the tarp up. So, uh, oh, pardon me, the bike's under there. And uh, obviously, if it does rain, um, then my bike is uh, nicely protected by the tarp. So, uh, let's carry on and get a few more things set up.
Right, so um, I brought my OEX lightweight chair again today and uh, our fire pit. So uh, we'll get these two set up and uh, so that I've got somewhere to sit down essentially. Right then, so let's, uh, what should we get out first? Let's get our fire pit out because that's uh, nice and easy to set up. That just folds out just like this. Pop that down. Oh, right. And then pop that in there. I um when I <laughs> when I left uh, home this morning obviously wanted to make sure I was uh, messing about with a load of stuff and um anyway I forgot my steak and my mushrooms so um I essentially had to go back home and uh, and get them um, but we're not going to be cooking on here today. We're not going to be using it as a barbecue. Um, we're just going to be using it as a fire pit again. Right. That's that set up. Let's get our chair out so that we've got somewhere nice to sit. Again, this is all really easy to uh, put together. And literally goes together probably in about a minute's time. Oh, the ground's not too uh, the ground's not too soft. So um, yeah, I mean we did work out that that's a ground sheet last week, um, which goes under the legs. It's a perfect fit for it. Um, and as somebody pointed out in one, uh, Terry pointed out in my last video, um, obviously if you're using this chair on the beach, those legs or soft ground essentially, then those feet are going to sink in. So. Um, Hence why they have this ground sheet for it. But um, the ground's not too soft here. So uh, I'm not going to put it on just for the sake, really. So, okay. That's all set up. So I now have a chair. And I've got my fire pit. I've got my canopy. Keeping uh, the pretend rain off my e-bike because uh, we all know water and electricity don't mix right let's carry on and get some more splits set up so uh, as I said oh it's gorgeous here got a nice uh, view of the canal there and um, quite a nice little space here but um, yeah so um, I brought myself a steak today 
and uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this bad boy the Tuscany solo camper right so as I said um, we're going to be using the uh, Tuscany Tuscany OEX um, solo camping stove today um, so um, we won't be needing the pot although will we I'd still need the pot because I'm going to be making coffee um, so what else are we going to do so we're going to use this part essentially today um, and if we pop this on here we've got I don't know if you can see that, but um, if we pop this on the base bit, then we've got somewhere for our uh, our frying pan to sit, essentially, so we can use that. Right, so we'll get our bottle on. First of all, That's screwed on nicely there. Um, we'll make sure that we use our feet for the gas bottle, essentially, which just gives it that little bit of extra stability. When you pop it down on the ground, stop it from falling over, etc. Like so. Although that's probably not very visible from where the camera is, but we'll move that in a little while. And then, yeah, so we've got two options. So um, we can use this now with the pot. Our pot will go on the top here. Let's pop it in there. And then that locks into place, essentially. You can see that's not going anywhere. And uh, we can boil water in here. So, uh, or we can take this off and we can put this attachment on the top. And like I said, we can put a frying pan on the top there and, uh, and we can cook, well, we can cook whatever, but uh, today, as I said, I've brought steak and some mushrooms. So we're gonna eat that instead. But um, I think what we'll do to start with I'm going to make myself a nice cup of coffee. Right, so um, I brought myself out some water today to boil. Um, brought myself about half a litre today because obviously this is just literally going to be for uh, for cooking um, or for drinking coffee rather. So um, we'll get this bad boy. Let's get some water in here first. Right. Hopefully, uh, we'll put it all on. Because uh, I'm probably only going to have one coffee. So, right, now we've got our water in here. So, we've got a little igniter switch. Okay, so um, when you're lighting this stove, um, it's advisable that you don't put the pot on um, because you can get a little bit of gas building up in this area underneath and then it will sort of blow out when it ignites. So uh, probably best to just do it without the pot on. Right, so let's bring some gas and we now have Pop that on there. That's nice and stable. Now let's put our lid on. 
which will help that to boil. We can bring our little clip over, and then that safeguards should this fall over. Our water is not going to spill everywhere. So uh, anyway, let's leave that. So I've got my coffee cup at the ready, and also I've brought um, these little. I can't remember who makes these. Um, does it say? Oh, Nalgene. Yeah, so Nalgene. These are um, watertight, you know. My milk's not going to drip out of there. So if you're looking for containers um, that are spe specifically designed to, uh, you know, because you don't want to be taking out things in your camping bag and then finding it's leaked everywhere. So. I've got some of these Nalgene um, containers. I've got a set. Um, there's much bigger ones in the set. Um, if I remember, I'll see if I can take a photo and um, show you what all of these, what you get in the set. But um, it's relatively cheap, to be honest, and just handy if you want to bring stuff out, you know, with you. All right, let's carry on. Oh, that looks like it's boiling already. So let's turn this off. Right, so, okay, so let's make myself a nice coffee. What we're gonna need. I really need to get a table. A small, like, aluminium table, really, essentially. Right, so, uh... Bit of brown sugar for your coffee, sir. Absolutely. A little bit of brown sugar. And, yep, yeah, as I said, these are, uh... Nothing's going to come out. You haven't got anything to worry about. <sighs> Insto coffee. But uh, this is Carp Noor. Or Quart Noor. However, it's, uh, however you want to pronounce it. There we go. Probably put a bit too much coffee in there. But uh, that's fine. That'll help me for the ride home. Milk in. And then, I don't know about you, but uh, when I make coffee, I don't ever use uh, boiling water to make it. Always let the water stop boiling before you add it. Otherwise, it burns the coffee. Did you know that? Most tea drinkers don't, to be honest. They just uh, they throw in the boiling water in a cup of coffee. Pop the lid on our uh, thing there. I'm not going to drink my coffee just yet. But that's there. Ready for in a moment when I decide to have a drink. That's all good. Right. Um, the beauty of this is that's not even hot either. So, um, you know, I can pick that up without any problems. Right. All right. So, uh, another couple of little things um, I wanted to uh, show you, well, which I brought as well. So one is this. So what is this? Okay. So this is a fire retardant, retardant, resistant. Um, it's a fire mat essentially, which you would put under your um, barbecue or portable fire pit, etc. Um, and you put that on the ground. Obviously, our fire pit 
that sits off the ground um, and that literally just you know safeguards the grass or wherever you're going to um, be setting up your fire pit so uh, yeah I thought it was a good idea to buy this it's fairly cheap only a few pounds off of Amazon um, but essentially we put that under the, um, the fire pit and that protects the ground underneath and will stop spreading well it won't cause uh, won't cause any further damage to the ground underneath it also um, which another thing is really handy um, obviously um, there's probably enough firewood on the ground today but um, for our pit but uh, I got this funky which way does it come I never remember there we go so I've got this uh, this saw and uh, I'll pop that in there like that move the handle and then we have a nice saw if you need to uh, you know well hopefully you'll just Soaring up uh, bits of wood for your fire, and um, but you know, I'm sure there's probably other uses for that as well. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, really handy, and as I said, that just packs down really quite um, quite small, and uh, can fit in your bag, and that's nice and easy to take in case you need to uh, chop up or cut up some firewood. Right, so what else have I got today? which is new oh lots of new stuff right so i've got an oex what have i got do you know what this is well this is an oex frying pan nice and lightweight which we can use with our uh, toscani solo cooker comes in a nice bag and uh yeah there we go there's our frying pan and uh these handles they pop out like this essentially and then you've got your full cooking experience on there i'll pop this on the top there and then obviously our frying pan just sits there nicely on there and then we can cook in there just like well well that's about it for um our new stuff to be honest um so um i'm gonna get the fire pit going and uh get a nice little fire on the go and um then i'm gonna cook have a nice or oh, start cooking our steak and mushrooms and uh, hopefully that'll be uh, something nice to eat as well as i said yeah it's a uh, new e-bike day today so uh, what better way to celebrate than a steak hey right let's get cracking right so as i said um we've got our fire mat there um this does open out a little bit more if you wanted to so we can do that that's not a problem that will completely safeguard that we'll pop our little fire pit on here we need to get some fire lighters give these a quick light they do like relatively easy uh it's not very breezy today um so these do like quite well Let's pop them in there light one from the other save our gas and then pop our bits of wood on the top and let the fire do its thing
Right, we'll leave that to get going. Right, so um, there's a lot of twigs, etc. that are on the ground, pretty wet. But uh, yeah, we can uh, start building a little collection, essentially. These twigs won't last long, but there's quite a few twigs just lying around on the ground. All broken, sorry, all dead wood, essentially. It should be enough. to keep our fire going for a little while. Right, so um, I don't know if you can see these, but the ground is covered in mushrooms. Um, I don't, have no idea if uh, these bad boys are in any way edible. Um, I really need to uh, find out, get a book on mushrooms really, because uh, yeah, I have no idea and obviously I um, have no intention of uh, going on a big trip, so um, yeah. Do you know? Does anybody know? Are these actually are these edible? Um, yeah, drop a comment in the box. But um, yeah, I think I need to get myself a book on uh, on wild mushrooms. Right, so. Uh... Cooking is well and truly on the go. I've got my steak in here, frying pan, etc. This is all lit. I've got it just uh, resting on a box, Not probably not the best thing to do. Um, but as I had it here, I thought, why not? We'll just use it. Now, if you hadn't noticed this, this. It's the best bit of camping stuff I've brought in a long time. So uh, what's not to like about uh, old Grogu from the Mandalorian? And uh, it's a nice lightweight plate. So, uh, and just big enough for my meal. So uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Best buy. Oh, that steak is smelling lush. Might just put and have a little bit of oil on there. Well, while that's cooking, how about I take a look at my view from where I am? Absolutely beautiful through there. Seeing the canal, sun's getting low, but uh, I'm not sure how many hours we've got left still in the UK of daylight, but um, probably not a huge amount. Anyway, back to the meal.
Yeah, I probably should have uh, cut them up a little bit more, to be honest. But um, it is what it is. And I'm sure it'll be fine. Our fire is roaring away there. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, ash which has leaked onto there. Um, and, uh, you know, it's uh, essentially saving the ground from uh, any heat damage uh, from the fire pit. So, uh, yeah, get yourself a, uh, a fire map if you're going to be getting one of these. All right, well, I think we're about done here. I'll turn the gas off. Steak and my mushrooms. Right, let's dive in. Mmm, nice. I'll probably cook my steak a little bit, um, a bit too much. I kind of really like it, um, sort of rare to medium, but, um, it's okay. Mmm, so good. Oh, I can tell you, this stinks uh, going down rather well. And it's nice to see Grogu's smiley happy face greet me with every mouthful. Everybody loves Grogu. And yes, if you hadn't guessed it, I am somewhat of a Star Wars nerd. I was seven years old when Star Wars came to the cinema. Mmm. Beautiful. Right. Let's pop that down there. And the coffee is still hot. Oh, it's lovely. What's not to love about the great outdoors, huh? All right, so um, I guess I should start sort of packing some of this stuff away. Um, what I forgot to do was I forgot to bring out some wet wipes, essentially. So as we haven't got wet wipes, what we can use just to give this a little bit of a clean out um, we can get a load of leaves make sure we've only got leaves and uh, we can just roll them around in there and that will soak up a lot of the, the rubbish looks like I may have uh, Burnt the bottom of the pan slightly. Some of my steak still remains on there. I 
I think really um, it looks like the uh, daylight is evading us already unfortunately so uh, we might have to actually pack down shortly you can already feel uh, quite a sudden drop in temperature in the air as well so um, that's another thing to uh, take into consideration All right this is all off so we just unscrew our gas canister pop that on there take the feet off they do come off yep right and what we do get rid of that get rid of this extra water we don't need anymore that's still which i don't know if you could see that it's probably a smoke as well but that was uh there was still steam coming off of that water right Right, so um, um, I'm going to need to uh, start packing down. So we're going to get the tarp down first and uh, then we'll start um, packing up the other bits and pieces slowly but surely. And then perhaps if we've got time, we'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the tracks, my new e-bike. Right, let's get started. Don't get near the fire. Don't get near the fire. Oi, open the fire. I've eaten the steak already, it's gone. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, obviously it's got um, really, really dark. Um, I can still see a tiny little bit of light in the sky, but um, in a few more minutes, uh, that's gonna be gone. Um, thanks for coming along for the ride. Um, if this has been your kind of video and you're into this kind of thing, then um, please hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, you can also ring that, hit that bell icon as well. And that'll give you a notification um, when we upload every Monday morning. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video and as I said um, we'll be doing a lot more of this so um, if, if this does interest you then please come along for the ride um, and if you've got any suggestions uh, equipment etc that you'd like to see on the channel um, then uh, pop them in the box below and we'll do our best to get that sorted for you right I need to get home and uh, put this tripod and camera away and um, hightail it out of here. Thanks again. I'll catch you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.